Did this just get sold? Uh, yeah, it's a limited process delivery. How much was it sold for? 5,000 on the sticker. Which was what? Wide body Hellcat, 79 grand. 79 grand, brand new. Is this, this is not the red eye though, right? How much is a red eye charger? In the 90s. In the 90s? All right, guys. So welcome back. Thank you for hanging out, spending a few moments here with me. If you can, definitely hit that subscribe button, like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I've been looking at these wide bodies, and I have to say that the uh, pricing of them is actually a little on the bloated side. I've been checking online to see what the price difference between a wide body is, uh, either Scat Pack or Hellcat versus a narrow body. And I'll tell you, these used Scat Pack wide bodies are in the area of fifty-five dollars to $60,000, which is kind of crazy if you really think about it. At this point, you could get a, you know, a used Hellcat for that price tag. Also too, a regular Scat Pack is typically in the neighborhood of you know, $40,000. So you're talking a fifteen dollars to $20,000 difference on the used lots, at least around me, between a wide body and a narrow body. And a lot of people have been asking whether they should take their scat pack and make it a wide body or trade it in. And for me, I would say if you are seeing these same prices, it would make more sense uh, for you to do the wide body conversion as opposed to trading in your car if you're really married to the the uh, wide body look so in my particular case I had I have an RT that's fully paid off it had this kind of a body style and really this body style was the RT from about 2015 to I believe it's 2019 and then all RTs got this body style which is what i was actually thinking about doing i was going to convert it to this body style obviously no srt in the front i was going to put a uh, an rt in the front and then i started doing the pricing difference between converting it from this to this then to a wide body and the price difference between converting it to a a srt body style to a wide body it was very marginal so Really guys, if you are planning on doing a conversion, you're gonna have to price out everything and see what it actually costs for you. Okay, because the, the price difference is going to be different for everybody. But I will say that here in New York, the wide body, there's obviously a big demand for them, you know, and people are willing to pay a premium to get themselves into, whether it's a Scat Pack or a Hellcat wide body, you know, these things are flying off the shelf and people are willing to pay what they need to pay in order to, to get into one. So, you know, for me, it made more sense to do the conversion. I definitely didn't want to take on an additional payment. So that, that also was a huge factor. But if you own your charger outright and the, you know, the, the numbers all crunch together, you know, I say go for the conversion. If not, you know, the OEM... You, you can't argue, like the fitment is perfect. You know, you, you do this, you take a look at the difference between mine versus this. Now granted, I just put a monster turbo and intercooler in, so my front fascia is a little bit, you know, a little mangled up there, but either way, guys, you know, I've been looking into these prices and I'll tell you, they are not coming down. There's obviously a, a lot of people that really love the, the wide body chargers. I am one of them, but I am also not willing to uh, pay the price difference between, you know, what you can have with a, a scat pack or whatever. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? This actually... Game over. So to conclude the video, I'll do a slow walk around so that you guys can see what the kit looks like on a regular charger. And it is pretty on point. I will say though, that there are some of the lines that are a little bit larger like this than 
if you were to get the OEM. Now keep in mind, I have a monster intercooler, so, you know, the front bumper is not sitting perfectly anymore. But it looks pretty spot on, you know? You have to be a real nitpicker to see the difference. Either way, well worth it for me. Well worth it.